Dog fans are starting to arrive in Indianapolis to cheer on the dogs in the national championship. Rumor is there's even been some barking at baggage claim. One of the biggest fans I know is already there. Jerry Carnes is live in Indy for us this morning. And Jerry, people are having dreams of what happened back in 1980, the last time the dogs won a national championship. And I understand you spoke to a guy who was actually there at that game. Indeed, I did, Christy. In fact, I've talked to some Georgia Bulldog fans who were here in Indianapolis who don't yet have tickets to the game here at Lucas Oil Stadium. They're hoping to snag some before Monday. Billy Copeland, however, he was so confident that Georgia was going to make the national championship game here in Indianapolis. He bought his tickets back before the beginning of the season. He's hoping for a repeat of what he witnessed 41 years ago. Imagine being a Georgia Bulldogs season ticket holder at the age of 10. In 1980, Billy Copeland's parents decided it would be cheaper to buy extra tickets and take him to games rather than pay a babysitter to stay home with him. One of those tickets made him a part of Bulldog history. Just an incredible, incredible experience for sure. From his office on St. Simons Island, surrounded by Bulldog paraphernalia, Billy Copeland reminisces about the days of Dooley and Walker and the undefeated season that ended with the Sugar Bowl and a showdown with Notre Dame. Billy's father had to work on game day, so it was his mother who led the charge to New Orleans. I remember these Notre Dame fans were standing around us, and they were just so cocky. They were just so, you know, and they weren't being ugly necessarily, but they were just so confident that they were going to beat us. That day belonged to Georgia. As fans stormed the field to celebrate the Bulldogs' national championship, Billy and his mother could not sit still. In the beginning, the policemen and the security were trying to stop it, but that wasn't happening. There was just too many people. They were overwhelmed, and they actually helped me and my mother get over the wall. In the 41 years since then, Billy has wondered if he would ever see his Bulldogs win another national title. He saw them come close just four years ago, and he'll be in Indianapolis as the dogs get another try. His mother passed away in 2018. Billy still has the cowbell with the Bulldog sticker that she used to take to games. She was a passionate, passionate Bulldog fan for sure, and where I'm sure that's where I get it from as well. It's a passion that's been growing since that magical season in 1980. 10 years old. Can you imagine that seeing the Georgia Bulldogs win it all when you're 10 years old? Billy thought about bringing his mom's cowbell hill here to Indianapolis and sneaking it inside uh, Lucas Oil Stadium, but items like that are prohibited and he didn't want it to get confiscated, but he'll bring his memories of that game 41 years ago and of course he'll be thinking about his mom as he watches the Bulldogs play. Ah, that is that is so sweet. Jerry, I need you to tell him one more thing though. I know he was 10 at the time, but I need him to wear the same thing. I need him to wear the same thing he wore last <laughs> time, okay? It's very important. Might be a little small, <laughs> might be maybe he could find something, some item. Okay, all right, tell him it's up to him. <laughs> all right, Jerry, thanks so much. We, of course, will keep you covered with all things from the national championship game from kickoff to the final play. Just head over to 11alive.com sports.